The final piece of the puzzle has been revealed. There is a new Land Rover Defender. Now we have three, the 90, the two-door, two-row, the 110, the four-door, two-row, and the new addition to the family, the 130 three-row vehicle. This is the complete family. They were all designed together, but we've got to meet them over the last two years. And we're in the desert in the United Arab Emirates because this is where Land Rover tests these vehicles at temperatures well over 100 degrees and sand, as far as the eye can see. It's like a tank, but with more legroom. But the interior is far from a military vehicle. Step inside and you'll feel like you're in a luxury safari vehicle. Except instead of spotting lions, you may be more likely to spot a Starbucks drive through This is a vehicle that can comfortably seat up to eight people, making it perfect for large families or groups of adventurers. The seats are comfortable and supportive and plenty of head and legroom for the tallest passengers. On the road drive, the Defender 130 is comfortable. You can see taking eight people on the road with this for a road trip. And even though our version of the vehicle is laden down with off-roading equipment, which includes gasoline, also shovel, tire, and uh, off-roading equipment, it actually is doing a great job in uh, traversing the freeways out in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, the vehicle on the interior is beautifully designed. It is a mixture of luxury and rugged. You'll also find an infotainment screen and it is the latest version of Pimi Pro. Uh, that is what Jaguar and Land Rover use as their architecture for their infotainment system. And a lot of people have been very happy with the over-the-air updates which this system has been giving. Uh, it is split into three different panels. You now get a choice of programming each panel. Uh, large heating and cooling gauges and Land Rover have done something uh, that I really like and that is put the temperature on the center of the gauges as well. The shifter is interesting because in the Defender it sits the same place that you would see a minivan shifter actually sit and then you've got lots of storage area and between the passenger and the driver there is also a refrigerator and you need that when it's 87 degrees here in the uh, deserts around Dubai because you want cool hydration as often as possible. Uh, I'm really comfortable with this vehicle and being the father of six dogs the 130 would be my choice of vehicle specifically because with those two rows down behind me the second and the third row I can get 2,500 liters of storage area that's six large dogs but let's be honest, the Defender 130 isn't just about comfort, it's about capability and this vehicle doesn't disappoint. Whether you're barreling through the harsh environment of the desert, the Defender 130 is more than up to the task. The four-wheel drive system is incredibly capable and the high ground clearance means you can tackle even the toughest obstacles with ease. Now we just pulled on to private property here at this uh, 80 uh, square kilometers of desert and this is where we get to take the vehicle off-road the 130 and find out what it's made of. Off-road the Defender 130 excels. In the sand the vehicle is surprisingly refined despite the terrain. The ride is smooth and comfortable and the steering is precise and responsive. And despite its size, the Defender 130 is surprisingly nimble, making it easy to maneuver. And the key to today's activities, not get stuck. Here we go, making the run. Right, aim for me please, aim for me, aim for me, I'm here. That's it, accelerate, accelerate, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's brilliant. 
Inside the Defender 130 is packed with features to make your journey more comfortable and convenient. There's a touchscreen information system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a premium sound system. But the Defender also oozes style. It's got that classic British design that looks good no matter where you take it. And with three different sizes to choose from, you're sure to find one that fits your needs. But don't let his posh interior fool you. The Defender 130 is a beast off-road. It can climb mountains, cross rivers, and even survive a monster apocalypse. Okay, maybe not the last one, but you get the idea. Let's get a closer look at what makes this vehicle so special. Firstly, it's built to handle any terrain, from the dirtiest of roads to the smoothest highways. You can confidently take this bad boy on adventures, no matter how rough it gets. So all three Defenders, the 90, the 110 and the 30, were on the drawing board at the same time for Jerry McGovern. Although we saw them staggered and released at different times, this, the 130, looks like every other Defender from the front. It has Defender written across the hood. It has air intakes here and here. It has nice cladding and functional everything. At the back, it's longer. It has room for the third row. It extends behind the rear wheels enough to get that extra row in. The 90 is perfect for city driving, the 110 for families who need a bit more room and the 130 for those who want to go on long road trips and bring everything they need along for the ride. Now this is the 90, the little two-door version and this is sort of the dynamic sports car of the family. Um, it's a little more rough, it's a little more ready, it's a little more get out and have a bunch of fun. And uh, this would be the car I would definitely own if I was single and didn't have six dogs. And the best part of all, these babies are built to last. You won't have any worries about getting a new vehicle for years to come. So there you have it, friends. The Land Rover Defender 90, 110 and 30. They are rugged, stylish and dependable. What more could you ask for? Until next time, keep on driving. I'm Nick Miles.